Hey there, Pokebox 5 subscribers. Today I am bringing you the last Pokebox 5 upload, at least for a while. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Pokebox 5 has been Pokebox 1 for the past month and a half, and this has been kind of ridiculous. I might as well be posting these battles to my channel. So in talking over with the other Pokebox 5 members, or at least the ones that would respond to my PMs, uh, we decided that this channel is going into retirement at least until Black and White 2 come out. So anyway, but I'm sending you guys off with this epic battle against none other than the Wild Chase. Uh, he leads off with Victini, I lead off with my Arcanine, thinking that he's probably faster. I go for the Extreme Speed and just see how much it does. He goes for Psychic. Was not expecting Psychic. Uh, this is the this is the first non-banded V-Create Victini I have seen in a very long time. Anyway, he switches out into his Hitmon top as I switch out into my Mew. Uh, double switch. And he, obviously he's not going to want to stay in on the Mew. Uh, interesting, by the way, that Intimidate happened before the switch. That's not how I thought those mechanics worked. But anyway, so he's going to double switch. He's going to go out into his Raikou, uh, giving me an opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks. The great thing about Mew is that it can run so many different sets. I run a support set. Basically, my Mew runs all the moves that I want it to. Uh, you, By the way, uh, you've, you've seen this team before. This Mew is new. This Mew used to be uh, in this Mew's slot, used to be a Muxie, but basically Mew is a superior choice. It's slightly less bulky, but just has a few more options. Recover instead of rest for recovery, basically. Uh, so anyway, and runs the exact same moveset. So yeah, uh, Stealth Rock, um, uh, Heal Bell, and Psychic as the other three moves. So anyway, uh, he goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rocks with his Bronze on. I'm lucky that I got in before the Rocks uh, went up. And here, I'm just going to go for uh, the... I'm, I think I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz. There's no reason not to. It's not like he has any Pokemon on his team that can uh, take the Flare Blitz, except for Victini. But I don't think it's going to like taking an Adamant Flare Blitz. Uh, Banded. Adamant Flare Blitz. I mean, look at his Hitmon top at minus one. That still does a hefty chunk. Gets him down to a little bit under half, and I get the Lucky Burn. So that's a bit of great hacks for me. Yeah, LOL, 69 HP. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz, just thinking my HP is too low to switch out, considering I have no spinner on this team. And so I go ahead and take out his Hitmon top, get a useless crit, and I am actually going to survive on 29. Really surprised that I survived on 29. Anyway, now as Victini is out, I'm going to die before. I can attack because he is going to be faster. He goes for the Psychic, takes out my Arcanine, uh, but now he's down to pretty darn low HP thanks to that Life Orb. Now I'm, I do a move that probably perplexes him. I send out my Hugabug, my Galvantula. It runs Sucker Punch. This is the most... I really love this Galvantula set. People don't run it anymore. This was the standard Galvantula set uh, back when Galvantula was first released and people were first starting to play around with the metagame. Um, Life Orb with Thunder, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, and Sucker Punch for the fourth move priority. And it's just great. It does a great job. Uh, anyway, my Thunder misses here. Like 10% chance of that happening. My Thunder misses. And now his Bronzong is going to be able to take me out on the next turn. Um... I go for the Thunder, I get the Paralysis, but, you know, if he carries Gyro Ball, that's actually going to be a negative for me. Uh, he goes for the Earthquake here. Yeah, I actually haven't seen... I haven't, I feel like I'm seeing lots of Bronzong with Earthquake lately. I don't know why. Uh, but so his Bronzong is paralyzed. Not a great situation for me. I send out Tux, my Empoleon. I'm in the air, so I don't have to, anything to fear from the Earthquakes. I love I love Air Balloon on my Agila, um, my Agila Polion. Anyway, he goes out into his Raikou. I could have gone for the Agility, expecting the switch, but instead I just go for the straight up Scald. Um, I'm obviously going to get outsped by this Raikou, and that really didn't do enough damage. Uh, you know, for me to be happy about this. I send out Clank, my Golurk, expecting the Volt Switch, or I guess Thunderbolt works too. So block that move, that's great. Uh, Clank is back up to full HP thanks to Leftovers, and uh, I'm going to be able to get off a free sub on the Switch. I mean, I guess there's a chance he, he could have been running Hidden Power Grass or um, Hidden Power Ice, but he wasn't, so... Great for me, I'm behind a sub, and now I'm going to be able to do some damage to this Roserade before I'm forced to switch out. Now, I don't have any moves that are super effective against it, I've got two, uh, two moves that are really effective, um, that both do approximately the same amount of damage after uh, Stab, but yeah, so he goes ahead and breaks my sub with Giga Drain, I just go for the Earthquake, uh, I, it's not going to do that much, I mean, Roserade is frail, but it's not that frail. 
And if I had priority, uh, if Golurk had priority, it would be kind of amazing, but it doesn't. And I'm not going to want to take a gear drain, uh, especially considering he'd recover up enough health that he could survive, even if he didn't KO me. I'd have to do the calc set to figure out whether I could survive. I send out Kazulu expecting the uh, Giga Drain, hoping and praying that he doesn't have Sludge Bomb. HP Fire I could probably take because I am specially defensive. I run 252 special attack, or special defense. 252 attack, 0 HP, or not 0 HP maybe, but, um, you know, it's it's a kind of weird set. Anyway, unfortunately he does have the Sludge Bomb, and with Roserade's awesome special attack, that is going to manage to KO my Kudzulu. So that's a shame, but at least I'll get a free switch into someone else. I uh, really wish I still had my Galvantula, um, but oh well, I'm going to send out Mew. Uh, I think I can take... Pretty much any hit from... Well, no, actually, this is a complete bluff. I'm hoping that he thinks that I run max uh, max speed. And indeed, he is scared away and switches out. That could have gone so bad for me, but I managed to go for the roost. I'm running a defensive set, after all, not a fast set. I think I'm running Calm 252 Special... No, no. I'm running Calm um, Balanced Defenses. Uh, I can give you the full details on the EV spread. Anyway, I'm going to switch out into Tux, my Empoleon. Um, I'm floating in the air with my air balloon. He goes for the gyro ball. That is going to break my air balloon, and that me does mean he's going to be able to hit me with his with earthquakes. But I still think that he's going to switch out. I still am thinking that he's going to switch out. So that's why I go for his agility against the Pokemon that has gyro ball. I mean, you might think that was really strange, but uh, I was really expecting him to switch out into Raikou, or maybe even uh, Roserade. Instead, he stays in and does not quite get me low enough to be in Torrent range. I was really hoping for the Torrent range. By the way, Scald is a stupid move on Agilipoleon. I've been told this by others. Actually, I haven't been told this by others. I've seen this in other people's videos. It is stupid to run Scald rather than Surf on an offensive... Pokemon, and so it's been replaced by Surf. I considered Hydro Pump, but honestly, with my luck, it would have probably just missed. So anyway, his Bronzong is still out there and is going to cause me some problems. Um, I go ahead and go out into Clank. I go for the sub, hoping that his attacks cannot break my sub. It turns out he carries Hidden Power, and I'm thinking, that's just great, that's just peachy. Um, but hoping maybe I can take it, but it's super effective. It's Hidden Power Grass or Hidden Power Ice, I guess. Um, and so my only real hope here is for him to get Parahaxed. Uh, I mean, I'm down to my last two Pokemon, but I'm just holding out hope that I can still pull off a win somehow. Uh, he survives with just a teeny tiny bit of HP. Uh, he goes for the, he goes for the hidden power, and here I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm gonna take him out on the next turn, but then whoever he sends out next can revenge kill, so really what I want is to have my sub up, and I think I can pull this off, and him get parahaxed. But no, he does not get Parahax on this turn. I'm like, where is my Parahax? Where, for the love of God, is my Parahax? If he were to get Parahax just once, I think I could pull this off. But he's not getting Parahaxed, and this is really, really frustrating. And I'm like, okay, well, I think, maybe, do I, do I have enough HP? No, I do not have enough HP for a sub. So I go for the uh, Shadow Punch, get the KO, and he's got three Pokemon left, I've got two, and I'm just hoping that I can survive... Uh, I don't know what I'm hoping. This game's basically over, to be honest. Crowbat is now out. It goes for the Brave Bird. I found out later this is a banded set. Uh, he is obviously going to take me out. Uh, I mean, I thought low HP it wasn't really an issue. But now, now I send out Mew. Oh, wait, I was actually surprised. because This is how I learned he was banded, because I would have survived if he hadn't been banded. Now here, I could have survived this hit. But he gets freaking max damage. Had he not gotten max damage, I could have roosted it off. I would have been in a better situation. I would have just kept on going for the roosts as he kept on going for the brave birds. He would have eventually killed himself. I would have hopefully been in a good enough position that I could have dealt with his Raikou. And then his Roserade would just die to a Psychic and that would have been good game. But unfortunately, thanks to that bit of hacks, the battle goes the other way and Wild Chase wins. Great game, Wild Chase. Uh, so long, folks. So long, Pokebox 5.